All right, we are walking all the way to a temple, all right? And we are walking through and Little India, they call it Little India Street. And in here, there is a lot of jewelry, there is a lot of sundry shops, okay? You can actually come here. Let's go. Okay, passing the Little India over the other side and keep moving forward down, we have reached a temple. It's called the Rofo Gu Miao Temple, all right? So in here, a lot of people, what do they do is that they pray and they ask for prosperity and for good health. And this is one of the oldest temples in Johor Bahru. All right, we have just finished the row for Gu Miao. So right now, we are going for a restaurant Nyonya Treats. And a lot of people out there do not know what it means by Nyonya. Nyonya is basically during the 19th century, okay, or the 18th century. These are Chi from Chinese that actually come into Malaya country, which we now call Malaysia, all right? So they bring all their cultures, all their cuisines, and they actually share it around this Malaysian people. It's actually halal. And there's also Chinese and Muslim and uh, Malay types of food, fusion types of food. And these people are actually very good to go around with. All right, let's go and take a look at the Nyonya restaurant. All right, and we are here at Nyonya Treats, all right, with JB. And the good thing is that area over here, there are so many signature dishes, okay? But why Nyonya Treats? Because they have been in this business for so long and they have very good signature dishes, all right? They have a lot of dishes, okay? But Mr. Ho here, okay, has already prepared uh, hi yes. everyone. So many dishes, okay? These are their main signature dishes. So Mr. Ho, I want to ask you, how long has this whole entire restaurant been running? Uh, already 11 years. It seems yeah, long, yeah, since it's 2009. It's been, it's, it's since it since it was opened by your father, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, my parents. Your parents, right? And now you're taking it over from your parents, isn't it? Uh, no, no. but <laughs> I have only... Okay, okay, it's yeah. awesome, awesome. These are one of their main dishes, okay? Their signature dishes. Could you tell us, you know, this is the first time I saw this dish. Okay, yeah. I have no idea what this is all about. Okay, oh, tell? this is the main food of Nyongnya food. This one is the Bokkala chicken. It's okay. of the Bokkala have the something can eat. It's, uh, it's came from Indonesia once. Okay, yeah. so the, it's actually come from Indonesia itself. Yeah. Okay, okay, mm. so uh, you can only get it here, okay, from Indonesia itself. Malaysia also good, but uh, not more. It's, it's very, it's uh, yeah, very it's limited. It's very limited. Isn't it? All right. Yeah, all maybe right. it's Sabah or Sarawak. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, because I'm, I'm, I, I also like spicy food. Okay, and, and I see that fish over there. It looks quite spicy. Yeah. <laughs> so that is called uh, chili garam fish. Chili garam. Chili garam fish. Chili garam fish. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's chap chai. Chap chai include a uh, cabbage mm -hmm. and carrots. Uh, this one uh tong tong fen, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Uh, called pulut thai thai. Okay. Uh, this one Nyonya Kuei is our homemade kaya. Chinchalo omelette. Chinchalo omelette. Chinchalo uh, is the Malay like bottles of the chinchalo sauce. Yeah. Okay. Is right. that one called chinchalo omelette. Very nice. When you, when you bring the food down here, okay, and I looked at this plate, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us more about this? this? Okay, this one is uh, pineapple sotong, I mean, pineapple prawn, sorry. Okay. Uh, this one sauce is uh, also our homemade nyongnya paste sauce. So that this sauce yeah. is, uh, is this very, very uh, spicy or is it sweet? Oh, no, no spicy, okay. just a bit. And uh, yeah, very sweet. Okay, this one is the patai, patai with samba. Okay. You can see there's a dessert. This dessert, is like yeah, a, yeah. This, this is like a... Okay. Pai this one, Kuei Pai Ti is the Seng Kong and Long so Bean. How, how, you call it Kuei Pai Ti? Kuei Pai Ti. That's what I said, you know? <laughs> he has the kind of slang. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even I say Kuei Pai Ti, you know? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, so what's inside here, anyway? Uh, Seng Kong, Long Bean, mm -hmm. and carrots. Oh, and right. a, a little prawn.
And you know what? One of the best thing is that you can actually get this kind of pace over here. Alright, in this Neonia treats. Can you yeah. talk, tell us more about your paste? This one is our products, Neonia treats products, called Neonia paste. They are our homemade sambal. It's uh, made from uh, a lot of ingredients. Uh. But this one is for the seafood, cooked for seafood. Yeah, it can uh, enhance the flavor of the seafood, uh, like sotong. You can cook with sotong, or the ikan pari, stingray, or the fish. Yeah. And at the same time, since your food is, is so nice, Okay. Do you do any like outside services? Outside services, yes, like, catering, catering services. Service. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So basically they just give you a call and then uh, they just order it and basically you just send it over there or how does it go? A catalog. Okay. Uh, yeah. Got okay. five sets of the catering. You can choose uh, which one do you want. Alright, yeah. awesome. So you know what? If you want to enjoy Nyonya food just in your house, we can actually send catering food to you too at the same time. Alright? You know that when you go outside, okay, there is a lot of uh, rice out there. Okay, there's white rice and there's basmati rice, you know, there's all this kind of other type of rice. And when they ask us, do we want white rice or yellow rice? I was kind of like, you know, what is this yellow rice? Yellow rice. But yellow take a look at this, you know, it's, it looks oh. like a yellow type of green, uh, yellow type. Type, type of rice, you know, like brownish. So could you tell us more about this type of rice con compared to those kind of white rice? Uh, this one, yellow rice, uh, we are use a lot of the xiang liao, uh, the spice. Spice, uh, okay. Like the um, right? kung yin, uh, yeah, okay. this is kung yin rice, but include of the, a lot of spice. Uh, five spices too, at the same yeah, time? Yeah, spices at the same time. Awesome, awesome. So yeah. that means if you eat this together with the other things that's down here, okay, it gives out a much better taste. Alright, so what we're gonna do right now, okay Mr. Ho, we are going to get somebody else to come in here and we're gonna test out the food. Okay? Yeah, I can't. Right. Thank you so much for for for, okay, for thank you. so many food for us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right now we have a guest here, okay, his name is Asuka, and he's gonna try this kind of uh, food with us, okay? Asuka, actually, you told me just now, okay, you really, really love spicy food. Ah, uh, that's what I, I'm told. But I suddenly misplaced <laughs> the spicy. And you know what? Uh, and the good thing is that, you don't worry, we have this ayasurai over here. So if it's very spicy, you can always have some of these. Alright? So one of the most spicy food that we have here is probably the fish. Alright? You want to try the fish? Okay, let's do it. Alright, look at that. Okay? It's crispy on the outside, but it's very, very nice on the inside you know that's a lot of chili this is how to taste it this spiciness. is how you taste the spiciness right okay go ahead you, you can chow it, chow it down i don't know how spicy that is gonna be so how is it is it crispy on the outside and then very very soft on the inside everything is true but for spicy it's not so spicy but awesome. tasty amazing you see, you see, it's not that spicy, okay? And that caters to a lot of people. But as Asuka was saying, it's what the aroma is there. Let's take a look. Nice and what do you call it? Sweet, right? Milky. <laughs> wow, awesome. Oh my goodness. It's milky, it's sweet, it's. You know what? What I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna cut off this video right now. And we're gonna eat. Alright? We're gonna eat. So, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> I'm a very dessert person, especially for durians. So, in like like Mr. Ho was saying, okay, desserts, they have these cakes. Alright? And also, one of their most signature is their durian gen loy. They covered it really well. Alright? So that it becomes, because due to hygienic purposes. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Alright? It's gooey, okay? Not so sweet, just enough. And the good thing is that, okay, the flavor is there. Every time when you put it inside your mouth, the flavor is already out. It enhances the flavor. So we're gonna try the durian. This is one of my favorite one because it's durian, all right? Durian is always, let's take a look, with the green, with the red beans too at the same time. All right. Mm. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. 
if you look into this, okay, the durian smell, it has that slight bitter and slight sweet taste, all right? And it's just great. Mm. I'm gonna finish this later on, all right? But tomorrow, just to let you know, we are going somewhere high. Yeah, somewhere very high.